hello students uh, today we are going to study about uh, wind pollinated flowers now this is an inflorescence of grass and uh, you might have seen it growing uh, in front of your uh, house everywhere uh, because it is a wild plant you can see the inflorescence the it is so uh, dense isn't it and it is full of flowers throughout the main central axis now this one is the central axis this is the central axis green color in the uh, center of the inflorescence now this is called the rachis okay so this is called the rachis or rachis and from there you can find that uh, the various small small branches are arising and you can see that uh, the immature flowers are at the top and uh, the most mature flower are at the base now this type of inflorescence is called a uh, uh, racemose inflorescence in which the flowers are arranged acropetally now uh, the flowers if you see it closely uh, let us see it closely okay so the flowers which you can see closely these flowers are uh, con uh, are condensed you cannot find any stalk over the flowers and uh, they have a kind of you know bract like thing which is covering the minute flowers that is the androecium and the gynoecium inside it and this is the uh, actually common uh, type of inflorescence which is called spikelet found in the gramini family gramini family or poesi family as it is uh, named later on so the gramini and poesi are same the rice inflorescence the wheat inflorescence mm, this is also uh, the same type of inflorescence similar to that of the grass so uh, this is a wind pollinated flower because you can see the flowers are so many in numbers okay they are so many in numbers they are not attractive and uh, they are colorless they are uh, having pollens which are dusty and they don't have any nectars to attract the pollinator so such kind of inflorescence is pollinated by that of the um, wind not by any kind of pollinating agents like that of the insects or the birds are like that so this is the characteristic features of the wind pollinated flower that is they are numerous in number they don't have any kind of nectaries they they have uh, dusty and light pollens and um, they have they are born in a common axis which is called the rachis and uh, they have uh, small uh, minute flowers which are protected externally by certain bract like structure which is known as your uh, lemma Uh, and um, that's it about the wind pollinated flower